My name is Eric Whitaker. I'm a full-time breast surgeon in Tucson, Arizona. Well, the patients I've talked to who wanted to participate in the Novel ACE trial are patients who've been interested in being part of the state-of-the-art treatment for breast cancer. They also realize the benefits that this affords future patients who are diagnosed with breast cancer where this may be a treatment option. Well, I think the ideal patient for the Novel ACE trial is someone who's motivated, first of all, to be a part of the future of healthcare, but they also have specific clinical criteria. The tumor can only be two centimeters or less in size. Well, one of the important things about participating in the Novel ACE trial is that the patient ultimately receives the current standard of care treatment. There are some additional imaging studies, as well as laser ablation itself, that are performed to give us information on how effective the treatment is. The difference between performing a laser ablation and surgery is a little bit night and day. One is performed in the office with the patient awake under local anesthesia. Surgery is an operating room procedure where the patient is either heavily sedated or many times is asleep under general anesthesia. During a Novel Ace ablation procedure, it's important the patients be comfortable and that they be comfortable with their arm extended above their head as we would do for many ultrasound procedures. Beyond that, once appropriate local anesthesia is given, I've been very impressed that patients have minimal, if any, discomfort. Well, the patients who've undergone laser ablation and have already subsequently undergone their lumpectomy as part of the trial have reported back that the laser ablation was very simple and in many ways no more uncomfortable than the surgery itself. At the present time, one of the big benefits to patients undergoing laser ablation is that they're participating in a clinical trial. This is moving the ball down the field. This is important for science. Other advantages include more intense surveillance, so double reading of all their imaging studies and their pathology. I think we're, we're learning very fast, so each time we learn a little bit more.